Da, 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 da. What's up, sons? It's Plygrod with Savatech once again, and we have a random X CPU mineable coin that is more profitable than Monero. So we're going to share it with you guys and how to mine it right after a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button down below and you will be able to access our privately hosted rocket chat. Selecting the $1.99 option will get you access and after that you just need to head on over to the membership tab, scroll down and expand out your membership perks and find the section for connecting on social media. In that section there will be a secret registration URL for rocket chat where you can sign up and enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without scammers, spammers or bots. Welcome back. So the coin is called Quantum Resistant Ledger. It's essentially a Monero-like coin that is preemptively stopping the hacking of your wallet by quantum computers. It does this by essentially changing, of course, the encryption methods that are being used. We can do that in a coin review. If you like, let me know in the comment section below and we can go over the details. But today we're gonna to talk about mining it because it is more profitable than Monero, about twice as profitable. So if you are looking for a coin to mine with your CPUs, this may be an, an option. There are other options that are non-random X coins that we can also talk about. Let me know what your favorite would be down in the description. So without further ado, let's hop into it. We have the wallet pulled up here. I'm gonna recommend using the web wallet because it's gonna be the fastest way for us to get up and running. That being said, you can download the Windows wallet and that will sync a node essentially, which will take some more time. But if you wanna do it later, as long as you keep your phrases, etc., you can just recover the web wallet to your downloaded wallet. Talking about exchanges, you only have really two options here. You have Bitrix and Cointiger. The Vinix one down there, yeah, it's, the price looks good, but it's not actually up and running. That's why the price looks good. I believe that got shut down back in 2018. Now this coin has been around for a while, as you can see, it's been around since 2017. And it went pretty much through the exact same patterns that Bitcoin is going through. So as far as the price comparisons, you are looking at essentially what every other coin kind of looks like that isn't doing something way out of the norm, right? That being said, they do obviously have a problem to solve. So helping them solve it by supporting the network isn't necessarily a terrible idea. I'm gonna recommend Bitrix here, but of course Cointiger has the most volume. So you wanna keep that in mind. The confidence from Coin Market Cap on Cointiger is low and I have not used Cointiger, but I have used Bitrix in the past. So to get started, you're gonna grab the web wallet. So we're gonna go ahead and just click launch. And this is pretty simple. You're just gonna type in a passphrase and then click create wallet. It'll give you a little warning to save the wallet file. So you can say, okay, and you can save on un unencrypted or secure. For now, all we're going to do is open a notepad and we are going to copy the information over. So we want our wallet address. We want the mnemonic phrase and we want the hex seed. With all this, we'll be able to recover it. Saving the wallet file basically does the same thing, but I want it just to be clear what we're kind of doing here. That we're gonna do file and save as. We're just gonna say QRL wallet, and we're gonna save it to the desktop for now. I recommend saving it to an encrypted USB drive, something like maybe Nord Locker for a cloud version of encryption. And then finally, the safest bet is going to be writing it down on like a piece of paper, preferably one of those fireproof Bitcoin or crypto wallets and putting it in a fireproof safe. That would be the best because once you have basically disconnected this from the internet, you will no longer be in trouble with it. All right, so at this point, you can go ahead and open your wallet. You'll need the hex seed I find to be the easiest. We copied that down earlier. So we're just gonna copy and paste it in and then click open and now we kind of have our wallet open. Next step is going to be downloading XM Rig. So we're just gonna go to the xmrig.com and their download. We're gonna grab the Windows version. Of course, there's Ubuntu, Linux, Mac, and free BSD. 
we're going to say I understand and we're going to go ahead and click download. Now if your antivirus blocks this or Edge or your browser blocks it, in some cases you'll have to hit the ellipses and say open anyways or download anyways. That's just the way it goes with, of course, cryptocurrency miners in general. Once again, let's go over this. If you are mining on your PC, I recommend not keeping any personal or financial information on the PC you are mining with. This is why I typically lean towards operating system options such as Hive OS, Simple Mining OS, and Rave OS. Those are the three that we have tutorials for, by the way. We're still working on a couple others as well. So, back into it, we are just going to hit the ellipses and say Show in Folder. We are going to right click and say 7-Zip and Extract here. We are going to open it, and then we are going to right click the Start command and click Edit. And at this point, Hero Miners actually has a really simple guide for you to copy out of for XMRig. So we're just going to copy their example. We are going to paste it into the start dot command. In some cases, it can be a little easier if you do word wrap, wrap so it keeps everything on the same kind of page and you're not scrolling over. Just a quick tip with Notepad in case you're curious as to how we have it formatted like this. Now we have to change the wallet address. So we are going to go back to the notepad we created the wallet with, and we are gonna control C the wallet address. We're gonna go back to the command tab, and we are going to paste it into your wallet. And then for our work name, we're just gonna do soap-test. You can name it whatever you like. And then finally, we do want to review the different servers. So for us, we are going to be closest to Canada. These are the options from Hero Miners. You have Germany, Finland, Hong Kong, and Singapore. If you need help pinging that, we did do a video on how to pick a pool. Go check that video out. And we are going to paste that into the server address, which comes after the dash O. And then we're just going to click File and Save. At this point, we are ready to go ahead and run the miner. So we're going to open the miner and we're going to double click the start dot command. And at this point, it'll start building it out. To start seeing your hash rate, you can press the H button. This particular CPU is a 5800X in case you're curious. And we are getting about 9078 hash a second. And then for this particular PC, I do have a kilowatt hooked up. And we are at about 288 watts. Keeping in mind, we have two GPUs plugged into this machine right now. So that just that idle is going to bring it up. And if we pulled those off, we would probably drop power a little bit. So that's something to keep in mind. But even with this, we are still profitable. So if we go ahead and head to what to mine, and we calculate 9,000 hash a second at 280 watts and click calculate. You can see here that we are at about 43 cents a day after power because it does appear that we do take almost half, actually we do take about half of our profits and pay that in power, which is kind of why CPU mining isn't necessarily the most efficient way to mine for, of course, miners. But this is also about supporting the network. And we've kind of talked about that with Monero in the past and kind of my thoughts around that. So there you go. We do have a coin that is on RandomX that is about twice as profitable as Monero. So that's pretty awesome stuff. And you can trade it on a pretty well-known exchange, which is Bittrex. Once you are ready to go ahead and check your mining performance on the pool, you are just going to go ahead and copy your address. You are going to head on over to the Hero Miners page, which for this is going to be qrl.herominers.com. You are going to go into your stats and payments history and do a control V with your wallet and click the lookup button. Scroll down further and it'll start showing you your hash rate your estimated payouts, and so on. So if you want to double check and see what you're actually getting compared to what, what to mine tells you, this is how you would take a look at it. 
Now, what I've found is with these smaller coins on Hero Miners especially, the payout is just going to start happening whenever it's ready to do it, and you'll start to notice that it pays out quite quickly. There's not like a minimum payout like you would have with ETH or something along those lines. So you can see there we get the 91 cents daily on their estimated profits as well. Just kind of show you guys. So that's it. That's how to mine quantum resistant ledger on Windows 10. If you would like a guide for a different operating system, let me know. We can definitely get into that. It is looking pretty viable right now to start moving your rigs from that kind of standard Celeron build to, of course, like AMD CPUs because you can get the additional mining profits off of your CPU while it's also mining something like Ethereum or whatever else with the GPUs. And because, frankly, all of the mining motherboards that are typically good for mining Ethereum and keeping the cost low on the, on the actual hardware itself are stupidly expensive. You can get the Ryzen 5 3600, which will mine this stuff quite well, and AMD motherboards still around the same retail cost that they were previously. You also have essentially availability for those AMD motherboards at Best Buy in the US pretty easily. So you can just run down to Best Buy and pick them up. It's kind of one of the things I've been looking at when I'm building new rigs now is moving into using AMD and then mining some different CPU mineable coins with that. So just kind of a thought I thought you guys might be interested in. Let me know what you guys think about quantum resistant ledger down in the comment section below. I hope the video is helpful and I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here, or of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.